The Indian Navy will commission Mahi, its first anti-submarine warfare, shallow watercraft, on November 24. Built by Cochin Shipyard with over 80% indigenous content, Mahi is equipped with torpedoes, multifunctional anti-submarine warfare rockets, advanced sonars and radars. Compact, stealthy and highly agile, the vessel is designed for submarine hunting, coastal patrols and securing India's littoral zones. Named after the historic port town Mahi, the ship symbolizes India's growing self-reliance in advanced naval shipbuilding. New Space Research and Technologies unveiled Abhimanyu, a jet-powered unmanned combat aircraft, at Aero India 2025. Designed as a loyal wingman for fighter jets, it will support the Indian Navy, with tasks like surveillance, electronic warfare and precision strikes. The first prototype is planned for 2026, with full development by 2029. Abhimanyu's modular design allows different payloads, long endurance and rapid upgrades. It is expected to strengthen carrier operations and improve India's air power in contested regions. After May's intense Operation Sindor drone clash with Pakistan, India's Defense Ministry has issued a request for information to procure around 800 medium-range kamikaze swarm drones for the Air Force. These fixed-wing loitering munitions aim to shift India from defensive to offensive swarm tactics, enabling deep strikes up to 350 kilometers. The drones must carry 30 kilograms warheads, operate at 25,000 feet, use AI for autonomous target detection, and launch from catapults. Trials are expected by mid-2026, with strong indigenous participation. After signing a £350 million deal with the UK, for Thales' lightweight multi-role missile, Martlet, the Indian Army is now assessing an air-to-air -air version for its light combat helicopters. The lightweight multi-role missile is a lightweight, laser-guided missile with a 6 to 8 kilometers range, ideal for high-altitude zones like the LAC. It offers precision against drones, light armor, and low-flying threats without the weight of larger missiles. Trials may begin by 2026, with possible local production via BDL. DRDO has made major progress on its electromagnetic railgun, a next-gen weapon that uses electric power instead of explosives to fire projectiles at over Mach 5. The 2024 Ministry of Defense report confirms successful prototype tests, new high-energy capacitors, improved rails, and a dedicated test center in Pune. The compact, truck-mounted system aims to defend against aircraft, missiles, and surface threats. With ongoing upgrades and trials, India plans live demonstrations for the Navy by 2026. India is set to approve DRDO's new integrated drone detection and interdiction system Mark II, which can disable hostile drones with a 10 kW laser at 2 km, double the earlier range. DRDO is also testing a 30 kW direct energy weapon capable of destroying drones, missiles and fixed-wing aircraft at 5 kilometers, demonstrated successfully in April. These laser systems, developed by DRDO's chess lab, are urgently needed as enemy drone use rises. DRDO is also working on high-energy microwave and electromagnetic pulse technologies. The Indian Army is planning a pilot project to induct women into select territorial army battalions, with recruitment expanding later based on feedback. This move supports the government's push for Nari Shakti in the forces. Women already serve in 10 arms and services of the regular army. The territorial army, raised in 1948 as a citizen soldier's force, has about 50,000 personnel and were actively involved in 1962, 1965 and 1971 operations. Safran has confirmed that its proposed 120 to 140 kN turbofan engine for India's next-gen fighters 
will match the GEF-414's dimensions, allowing easy plug-and-play integration on aircraft like AMCA, TEDBF, and even Tejas MK2 in the future. The new engine will offer super cruise, lower infrared signature and high efficiency with AMCA MK2, targeted to receive it in the early 2030s. This common design will simplify logistics, cut life cycle costs by up to 40%, and support large-scale Indian manufacturing through full technology transfer, strengthening India's long-term air power and export potential. Russia unveiled a new Su-57E model at the Dubai Air Show, featuring upgraded rectangular 2D thrust vectoring nozzles that reduce rear radar and infrared signatures, addressing a major weakness of earlier designs. The export-oriented fighter now promises better all-aspect stealth and customizable features. India, once part of the FGFA program, remains cautious, despite Russia offering high-technology transfer and Indian weapon integration. IAF evaluations still find stealth shortcomings, and production delays in Russia add uncertainty. Although cheaper than Western jets, the Su-57E must prove it can meet India's stringent stealth and performance standards amid rising regional threats. India's AMCA fighter program has taken a key step forward as ADA issued a tender for advanced modal shakers equipment needed for ground vibration tests of the first prototype. These high-precision devices simulate aerodynamic stresses to map structural behavior and validate the jet's strength before flight. The tender seeks electrodynamic shakers, sensors, and software to analyze everything from the full airframe to individual components. This marks a crucial milestone in preparing the AMCA for its planned 2035 induction, ensuring the aircraft meets stringent performance and stealth standards amid rising regional security challenges. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.